I want again to thank the Ministry of Education for remaining focused in terms of encouraging uh, and supporting the back to school program. Uh, COVID-19 uh, is here with us. It might remain with us for some time and life must continue. And we must uh, support schools like uh, Bodoy Primary School in terms of uh, addressing the issues to do with uh, uh, COVID-19. Uh, that is why we came with a few masks mm -hmm. and uh, we will still and we will encourage our, our officers of rural electrification and renewable energy, wherever they are, uh, in our corporate social responsibility, what they can be able to do uh, to continue doing uh, so that we can support our kids in our educational institutions. Um, we have seen that uh, uh, in this school, which we electrified uh, as, as Rural Electrification and Renewable Energy Corporation sometimes back, there are a few classes that are not uh, electrified and I have requested our coordinator in the region uh, to incorporate in our financial plan the electrification of the remaining uh, six classes so that uh, in this school we can say that 100 percent of all the classes are electrified. The public schools are overwhelmed because uh, we have some uh, private schools that has been closed down due to the COVID-19. The owners has not been sustained so the children are coming to uh, to the public schools and they are all and we're admitting and our, our policy is if it is a public school we are not turning any child back we are allowing them to come to the school because we have a government policy of saying any child who has attained an age of going to school must go to school and that policy is still there and then we have 100 percent transition is also a government policy we are also implementing so the problems, uh, most of the schools that they're saying it is about uh, the social distancing. The desk are there, as the teacher said, but they are not enough. And the government has provided the desk. It's almost uh, all the primary schools that I think has been delivered to the uh, government uh, desk. And the few that's remaining, I hope uh, in the next one wing, the desk, all the desk will be in the, in the schools. So about uh, the COVID-19 protocol, we are strictly on that. We are observing, and the teachers are also observing. Uh, there's a challenges that the teachers say. There's a challenge of water to some schools. Uh, social distancing because of the desk is also a problem, but we are managing it. Now, about the reopening, we are managing, of course, challenges here and there. Social distancing, it's a challenge brought about by the limited number of desks. We also have a problem when it comes to source of water. We have tap water, but we've been without water for the last three months. Again, that's a hitch. We request children to bring water from home. The water from home, of course, is bought by parents, so there's been complaints that munataka maji kelasa, munataka maji kelasa, but we are managing. So we request Bona SEC, I can see it's behind me, around here, do something about this. This is your school, these are your children, our new Kenya, our Kenya Wakesho. So we hope and pray that we will get assistance. Desks, they are sitting in trees. Masks, I want to believe today with what you brought us, uh, are, uh, this problem is going to be alleviated. Um, and of course, the other problems are normal and we are managing. We pray and believe with time as we move on during the course of the term, this will be addressed because the Ebola SEC is here and Bwana Chairman, together with the other friends, kindly take note of our challenges and help where you can. Thank you.
Thank you.